put on school uniform uh, because it makes the students much, much closer to me. Yeah, initially, uh, students used to uh, want not to come to the office, but uh, when I started putting on uh, the school uniform, uh, they feel very close to me. Yeah, they come, and I also maintain an open door policy, so they are very, very, very free with me. They tell me anything uh, that they feel that I need to know. So that is why I, I started putting on uniform. I wanted to be humble. You know, when they see you that you come to their level, they feel good about that. In fact, the first day, I remember when I went to parade, they clapped for me like five minutes. Yeah. Last year, we, we, we had a fire in the school, and uh, I realized that uh, there was a gap. Uh, there were some students who were aware of the fire, but uh, they never came directly to us. So I, I realized that there was need uh, to bridge this gap between the students and myself. So that's when I, I opted uh, to not only put on uniform, but I also have a suggestion boxes. We also have a council of elders among the prefects who are able to solve disputes whenever uh, they, they arise. So basically, the putting on of uniform is an attempt to stand in discipline in, school, in schools. Many a times in discipline cases happen because of that gap between the administration and the students. When you close that gap, you are able to get information about their problems, because students do have problems sometimes. So when, when they realize that uh, you listen to them, uh, they, they tend to open up more. And that way you can be able to solve their problems before they become uh, huge. And that way, uh, in discipline cases, are able to be, uh, to be handled in a more uh, collaborative manner. Now, the fire incident uh, was caused by a few students, actually. What happened, uh, uh, the students went out. Some, some, some students, around three students, went sneaked out to go and watch football at Baruesa. Baruesa Center is not very far from the school. So they came back uh, late at night. So the roll calls that we normally do over the weekend found out that they were missing. Now, uh, they knew that they would be suspended on Monday. So on Sunday evening, they burned the school. Not the school, but a, a girl's dormitory. These were boys who went and burned uh, the girl's uh, dormitory. Yeah, so that is what informed our decision to be very, very close uh, to the students. Yes. Yeah, the school has has been doing very, very well. Uh, we moved from 3.7 uh, and then we went to 4.0, went to 4.426, went to 4.7 and then uh, 2020 we, we have done 5.0138. So we, we have progressively improved. In fact, we have improved constantly for the, for the last five years. Now, how has the dressing in uniform and uh, the bridging the gap between the students and the teachers helping performance. Yeah, it has helped greatly because um, students are now much, much closer uh, to the teachers. They come to ask questions uh, even when, when you don't teach them, but they know that you teach a particular subject. When the particular teacher who teaches them is not there, they are now freer to come consult, uh, not just with me, but also with the other teachers. So that way, the collaborative effort is achieved uh, in, uh, in uh, being close to the students is the main thing that will come unrest in schools. Many a time, unrest is caused by unhandled grievances. Grievances that are not handled on time. But when you are very, very close to the students, they, they genuinely open up to you. They come and tell you what, what is their challenges or what the cha their challenges are, and you are able to handle them on time. As a, as a head of school, I, I set an example to the teachers. I talk to the teachers. They see what I do, how free I am with the students, and they copy the same. You know, as a leader, if you, you set an example, it will always be followed by those that are under you.
So uh, being very close to the students has helped in standing in, in discipline. Even when we hear of schools, uh, rising tension in schools, us, we, we, we are relaxed. Uh, we know that uh, if there are any issues, they will come to us before uh, they explode. We, we are very, very uh, alive to the fact that uh, unrest is all over this country. But we are confident that our students will not be involved in unrest, not in the foreseeable future. Yeah, that incident, really, it was a wake-up call uh, to us. Uh, because uh, we realize that sometimes you may think everything is calm and then all of a sudden things happen. Like in our case, things were very calm. They were very, very calm. Uh, and then at night there was a fire in, in the dormitory at around uh, 8, 8 something, 8.20 there. Yeah. So it made us realize that um, there is need to have a flow of, of information between the students and, uh, and the teachers and that's why we had to we developed mechanisms other than what I do putting on school uniform maintaining an open door policy we also have a suggestion box where the, the, uh, the students anonymously uh, drop uh, information or complaints whenever they have they, they do it anonymously and uh, we don't victimize them for whatever they ask or whatever grievance uh, uh, they raise. Other than that, we also have door meetings, we also have class meetings. We have uh, the guidance and counseling mistress talking to them. She has a wonderful program where she not only talks to them, but she also involves other teachers in talking to them. We have outside speakers that we invite to school. They should not leave a gap where both of them are absent. Uh, because some decisions can only be made by any of the two. So if both of them are absent, that lacuna can create uh, issues. So I really appeal to uh, heads of schools to be very, very close to the students, make sure that they are, their ears are on the ground, uh, because if their ears are not on the ground, things may pass them, and that could really lead to issues and rest in schools.